Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is Sir You Are Being Hunted, which is a game I have used a few times in the past, but has uh, gone to version 1.0 and that I thought we should revisit. So, <clears throat> let's see, game options wise, we got a field of view slider. I'm going to just move that up a little. There we go. Uh, audio, of course. Let's turn down the master volume a little, um, but we're going to turn down music more, because I want to be able to hear the things around me. Um, <clears throat> control options are rebindable, as you might see. I can invert my Y-axis. I can enable a controller. Um, plenty of options here for you to have. Uh, the game options themselves, uh, no, we were, uh, graphics options themselves, you, know, you got the gamut of modern options. I have turned things up generally to the max. Um, of course, you have the option of Sir or Madam, you are being hunted, as you might prefer. <clears throat> so let's hit play and see how we do. I've never done terribly well in this game. Right, let's start a new game here. Let's see, what do I want to be? We have the aristocrat, the gamekeeper, the inventor, the officer, the cook, the artist, the old soak. Uh, let's be the officer. Because, hey, we'll start with a pistol. And, uh, we got rural fens, fens mountain. And there's industrial and castle. So let's stick the castle on there. And we'll have the industrial on there. And yeah, fens and mountain. Okay. Right. Generate the island. And I'm just going to put a edit in here because this usually takes a while. So. If you can hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. With them, and some luck, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully, and you might just survive. I am afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. They became quite hot during the experiment, so perhaps you could look for the smoke. Bring any you find back to the standing stones, then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but this does mean postponing dinner preparations. Yes. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? The residents won't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. Yeah. Oh, and do be careful, sir. You're being hunted. Yes, yes, indeed. What, what? Right. <coughs> One must look after oneself. Advantages prevent blood loss. You regain health by eating. Right, so... Here we are in the world. Broken down robot nearby. Has a few items, such as these very handy ah, binoculars. Very useful. Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. In fact, all that stuff is useful. This is useful for bandages. That's useful for throwing for distraction. That's good for eating. That's a distraction. That is good for, you know, spying and looking. This isn't useful. <laughs> Um, right, let's see, first off, 
Let's hit up the in inventory and stick a few things around. So. Right. The patriotic cockery, I'll probably be leaving somewhere. Um, examine the standing stone. Yep. So I'll have to fit in here bits of the stuff. There's one of the bits right here. Excellent. You've found one. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. Forgive me, sir, but perhaps it's worth mentioning that your tweeds should keep you well hidden, provided you keep to the heavier foliage. Right, so, that there is a hideously dangerous search balloon, which we don't want anything to do with. Now let's just get down and crouch, shall we? Yeah. I'm going to head towards these houses over here. Actually, I need to move faster than this. I need to get away from that. See if there's anything it in here. looks like there's something useful in there. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Yeah, that boiled haggis. Even if it was a new boiled haggis, you wouldn't want to look at it too closely. I do know exactly what a haggis is. Um, I live in Scotland. I've lived in Scotland for more than 15 years. A traditional haggis is a sheep's stomach lining, um, which is used as the case for a mixture of spiced oats, uh, sheep entrails, usually livers and kidneys and such, um, blood. It's a, it's a variation on the blood sausage. I hear that low humming noise that tells me that though there's a big robot nearby. Probably don't want to get too close to this. Actually, that might be Looks like a fragment maybe over there. That would be worth going for. Damn balloon. Let's just run for it. If any of the bots find this goddamn piece of fragment. Yeah, see, that's more like the fragments I usually find. And now you got to find your way back to the standing t stone, which is like, uh, where is it? <laughs> but I think it's over there. So we'll just stick that in there. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. And we'll just save our progress. Sorry, I had to go answer the door. <laughs> um, right, so we've dropped off our piece. And we're crouching. And there's one of those will-o'-the-wisps. Which I think lead you towards parts, actually. Uh, nightfall which is actually kind of semi-handy. Um, I 
as the dark can be useful. Now this is, I think, a different door. Yeah. Uh, the red toadstool is dubious, and we're not sure what to use it for. So we're going to leave that. Yeah, because each door will have its own loot. No, I must have already hit that shack. Or it's a different shack entirely. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is the 1.0 version of the game, so we're actually full-on release. And, uh, the game is current... Ooh, that's a hunting party. Alright. Stay away from them. In fact, let's, uh, let's put on some speed. And I just saw the red light of something nasty in there. Right, so... So for launch, it's currently 15% off. I think it's about 10 quid for the game. I'm not 100% certain, because I have had it for a while. A jar of marmalade is good. The spices you'd think would be useful. A dead rat says dubious. I'm pretty sure useless. Uh-oh. I'm thinking just pull this way. In fact, let's book. That sounds close. Man, you definitely get a realistic sense of tension playing this game. I... Right, so... That startled wildlife off that way, so there's something coming from that direction. So we're not going there. That These stones usually mean I'm heading towards the beach. Um, now the beach isn't terrible, but there are weird things out by the beach, too. Uh, As you can see there, my visibility meter uh, increases with the more I'm moving. And of course I can crouch to remain extra hidden. The problem with crouching is you're slower. That's probably one of the boat docks down there. Which uh, you can go to use one of the, go to one of the other islands. Looks like I got a little bit of glitchiness there. That's disappointing. As I pointed out before, we're at maximum graphics settings here. At least as far as I can tell. It doesn't look hugely different to my recollection of when I played previously. Um, but then again, the, the new areas aren't on the center island, so like the castle and the industrial areas are on other islands. Alright, let's... Uh, did it not save my, my, my setup? No, it did. Right, so that looks clear. For the moment, anyway. Let's just run down the road. Uh-oh. That sound. I don't know if it's coming through on the recording, but there's this low thrumming. And usually it means, to me anyway, a big nasty robot. Uh, oh, we got blight ridden spuds, unpleasant eggs, moldy bread. It's all dubious. Um, but it seems like an excellent place to drop off my horrible plate. Right. <sighs> There's a rabbit there. 
you can hunt the rabbits rotting roast beef that is seriously aged um, oh drop a sherry definitely have that more weird potatoes and such still hearing it thrumming cat food more bandages never know might come in handy I seem to be throwing off some light with a weapon. Rounds in it. Do be careful with that. Oh, I really think violence is best left to the experts. And I think a pipe and tobacco is actually usable. Going from what I recall. But, uh oh. Moving. Fly. Fly away. Okay. Let's try the ruin here. Yeah, I thought that smoke might be just a fire. I know you're not used to preparing your own meals, sir. But I'm sure you can master roasting game on an open fire. Hot smoke can be seen for miles, however, so do be quick. Map of the island. Not as useful as you might expect, but you can put down markers. In fact, I've marked this location so I can come back to that campfire if I need. And if I find another fragment, and I manage to find my way back to the back to the standing stones, I'll mark that as well. Um, I hear a kind of. Low blowing rumbling, I guess. Made me stop dead, I gotta say. Right. There's usually a door. Wait a minute. Did I see something over here? There's a will o wisp. Books. Dead rat. A good read. Who knows? Might come in handy. I'm gonna leave the other bandages for now. Got plenty of those. They only stop bleeding. Uh, they only stop breathing. Uh, bleeding. Uh, it's not actually gonna heal me. Um. Is that it? The one door. One door. Is that noise again? Okay, sun's coming up, which means we're in somewhat more danger as well. I gotta say, if you want a hard uh, first person perspective survival kind of procedurally generated game, you could do a lot worse than this. This is, let's see, white mushrooms. They're dubious. Dubious basically means you're not sure, right? There's a boat to one of the uh, islands.
going by the compass point as to the North Island. Wish I'd remember what I selected for the North Island. But hey, let's go to a north go to an island. There are a number of islands in the archipelago. Each of them is likely to have fragments of the device for you to collect. Try not to get lost. So Castle was the North Island. Okay. Well, that's good. That's one of the new biomes. so much food. I'm going to use the canned pie, which is a real British thing. What's more, not only is it a canned pie, but it's probably a canned meat pie. Probably mince and onion. And you're wondering, what the hell's mince, Rob? Well, mince is basically hamburger. Ground beef. Or minced beef which is where that comes from. Um, is there any way into this tower? Something's kind of... It's not ominous, it's like more of a singing note. Hmm. James H. Paul, cat lover, brother, metal fan. Why would you build a statue of a robot? A blue circle plaque. To 2112. Right. Blue circle plaques are in, uh, for those of you outside Britain, those are marked prominent pl uh, birthplaces and things like that. Uh, like, go around London, you see them all over the place, like Samuel Pepys was born or lived here. Uh, it's all kinds of... Those things are uh, everywhere in certain places. They're not everywhere here in Scotland. Um, but then again... I live in a fairly small village uh, in a in a not really terribly po uh, prominent uh, county. So, or council, as they say here. Ooh. Right, check this out real fast. What does this say? Queen Smudge Hut. Dips in the land are useful. It's in here. Stout. Chocolate biscuits. Score. Right. Heard something over that way. Yeah, by that house there. Okay. That means we're not going that way. Yes, I have two pistols on me. Yes, I have a rifle. No, I haven't been able to kill more than one robot ever. That looks like a post box. I'll probably hit this shack over here. Yeah, 
You don't get a lot of houses like this in the UK. If you see something like this, it's yeah, it's usually like a, sh a shop or uh, something. Te it's a temporary structure, practically. And uh, Apple. One of your five a day. Have a smoke. Yeah, that that was not helpful. Okay, that tells us we don't want the other smoke. Let's have that apple. Okay. Craig Morehouse. Yeah, touristy signs are brown and white. And yeah, just about everything has a gift shop. Let's see. Or a tea room, or both. Can I get up in here? I can. Ooh. Yeah, but that's as much as I can get up in there. But, it does give me a bit of height. There's no sleeping requirement as far as I'm aware, uh, so it's not like I could just like, you know, set up a bedroll and pitch out there. Doid be bluff. Hmm. Heard a bird. Probably me disturbing the bird. church. And that sign probably indicates a pub, or what some people might call a tavern or a bar. <sighs> hmm. Chocolate biscuits. Good stuff. <laughs> the robotic arms. Well, they definitely keep with the theme. Got a fire. Uh, some kind of umbrella. Definitely need something to keep the weather off fine piece of game, which we can definitely use at that fire. A uh, jar of marmalade. Whiskey. And... let's see. Oh yeah, don't need that anymore. There we go. Well, I got plenty of booze. In fact, let's, uh... <laughs> Dunkable. <laughs> let's have the stout. Nice beer. Alright. Alright, so I gotta use the matches. And then, uh... We use the bird over there. And then we get the fuck out of here. Because that's going to draw a lot of attention. Hoping that's just creepy incidental music and not something that I, I'm actually hearing. Right. Definitely heard something. Right, 
follow Will the Wisp for a bit. Come on, lead me to somewhere. That's my theory. You will lead me to somewhere I need to be. What, seriously? Okay. Never actually swam in the game before. And I have certainly seen plenty of nasty, horrible things in the water to tell me I don't want to be here too long. Bah! Cripes! Get... Move! 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 Yeah, this is a good game to get startled with. Um... Definitely good for a scare. Um... It's got, definitely has some creepy things, too. Um, like, uh... I think I used the Scarecrows at my Halloween video. They were, uh... They were creepy. Ah, da, <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to be anywhere near that. Uh... Although, I don't think there's a thing on this island. This is just some crappy rock. Okay. Hostile. Yeah. Yeah, they'll s they'll find the sites I'm interested in too, and go and s s wait for me. They know. They seem to know I'm looking for the for the artifacts. And right, this is high risk in my opinion. We gotta get out of here. Come on, let me up. Ah, crap! How the hell do I get up the slope? Let me out of here! Let me out of here! Crouch. That is too close. And there are two of those. Ah. I'm in a bad position where I'm trying to have to decide between trying to sh engage in combat with two robots or just trying to sneak out of here. And yet not. What? <sighs> Gotta reload this thing. Alright, pistol. Yeah, I thought that might happen. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I can go back to my last save. So, yeah. It's not... It's hard, but it's not so brutal that you're gonna like, ah, oh, I can't possibly. But you can save in between islands, and you can save at the stones. So, yeah. It's still really hard. <laughs> And you saw me unload several shots into that robot, and it didn't die. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> shots fired seven. <laughs> no robot slain. Okay. Well, anyhow... <laughs> That's a taste of the current build of the game, uh, the release build of the game. Uh, so uh, I, I imagine they're going to continue to tweak it, because it is a 1.0. Uh, but that's that's been Sir You Are Being Hunted. Uh, hope you saw some good stuff. 
hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely on sale on Steam for the launch week. Uh, you might want to pick it up. It might be on sale again sometime in the future. <clears throat> or, hey, you might just want to pick it up full price, because actually it's a pretty darn good game, in my opinion. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.